Hi everyone, this video will be focusing on this lip paint right here. So it comes in five and it's from the brand called The Sam. And I just, to be honest, I only bought this because of the packaging because come on, they look like little miniature paint buckets, which looks really adorable. So it comes with five different colors and you can see the shades on the top and it also matches with the label on the front as well. When you open it up, it comes with this twisty cap and once you twist it up, it comes with this rounded wand, which means that it will be easier to apply onto the lips now in regards of the texture it is quite sticky i must say because apparently this is supposed to be a liquid lipstick but the more i use it i feel like it's more towards the tint and the more research i did some sites say that it is a tint but some sites say it's like a liquid lipstick so i guess it's like a mixture of both because this is actually highly really like highly highly pigmented very different compared to tin i know there are some tin that are quite pigmented but this one like i said is probably like a mixture but this one however i noticed that all of this doesn't give any stain on your lips not like other tins would so it's just a very interesting product for me but one thing i must say is that i feel that all of the colors are really really similar maybe because it only comes in five there's not much color options for me just because i tend to lean towards more of the pink mauvey browny shade rather than the ready shade and most of these shades are very red tone color so from the first shade you could tell it was a dark red and now second fury red is like a lighter red which has a bit of a pinky undertone but as a gradation lip you can see that a lot of the product here they are very very similar now number three which i'll show you really soon is also like a ready shade as well it's supposed to be an orange shade but because i have pigmented lips it just look way more darker on me as well so yeah which i'll show you really really soon and i just thought i'll show you guys how it looks like on me with artificial lighting and daylighting as well so here we go on number three i was a little bit too fast so um in regards of the application it is actually really easy to apply however because i felt that it was quite sticky it's really hard to line the edges of your lips to give you more of a defined lip so you just have to be really careful because once you accidentally slip it up onto your upper lip or your bottom lip it's quite hard to remove it like somehow it's stained on the lip on the skin but not on the lips if that makes sense so if you accidentally smudge quickly remove it don't leave it on like how you would usually would i guess but just quickly remove the product on your skin if you do touch the skin now number four is the only shade that is very different from all of these five shades because this is a pink shade and this one is called rose matter when i heard that name i thought it would be more like a rosy pink like the picture itself but on me it's more towards like a fluorescent pink like pink like a brighter pink which i'm actually really happy about because i didn't want any like reddish color in this you know product after trying all of this out i'm like i actually want a color that is a little bit different so i'm actually quite happy with this color but i feel like this color there i have a lot of products already that matches this color now the last product in this um collection i felt that I was really excited for this because on the swatch you can see the color looks amazing it's supposed to be like a mauvey peachy mlbb color like the model itself but on my lips however it turned into like this reddish browny shape which i'm not really happy about like it is a really nice shade on me i've used it a few times now but i actually expected it to look like the model but it didn't which i was a little bit disappointed but overall i felt that in regards of the moisture for of this product it is very very moisturizing it is very smooth however it is not a matte finish but it is very long lasting so this is how it looks like after using it for nine hours so it's actually a, an amazing product however the color selection was just i wasn't satisfied with it but i feel like this product is actually good for those who have dry lips because of how moisturizing it is if you don't mind it being a little bit sticky in regards of the finish it does take about 20 minutes or so to dry up and once it dry up it gives you like a semi matte glossy finish so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please comment down below what product you want me to try next and i'll see you on my next video bye